Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, bring manly men back. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with the Tim and Ali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we change. Man, I'm grateful to be with you guys today. Thank you for listening to the Game Changer Podcast. If this makes a difference for you, Leave us a review, share it, subscribe, hit the subscribe button below if you're watching this on video. And on any other platform, do me a favor, go leave me a review if this is good for you. All right, let's talk about this concept of bring manly men back. It's a wild world today. You've seen all kinds of things going on in the news, sexualizing children, making men look dumb, trying to make men dumb, docile, weak. I know the new Barbie movie came out. There's all kinds of political talk about that and how Ken is just this average beta, right, a beta. Like, I'm not gonna see the movie. I don't care if you like the movie. Maybe it's like, brings up great memories for you as a child, you, you think it's fun. This much I do know, for a fact, there is a spiritual warfare against men and women inside of a marriage trying to break up the family. You break the family up, the traditional family, a a husband, a wife, and the children. You sexualize children. You make men look like idiots. You you, you take a strong man and make him the enemy. All of a sudden, strong men are the enemy. And pretty soon, there are no strong, critical thinking men on the planet. Look, they, they want to take away the family. They want to take away marriage. They want to take away men who are critical thinking, critical thinkers. Why? It is easy to control weak, average, beta, buffoon type men. Men who are weak physically. Men who do not know how to love their wife and children. Men who do not know how to work hard and to think critically. Men who do not challenge, right? They want to take away men out of the picture. Why? It's easy to control society like that. And then the powers that be actually control everything. I love the founding fathers of this great country that I am part of. They had their imperfections. They were not perfect. I know that. But they did have something that many of us today do not have. They had guts and balls and courage to do what? Like you understand, when you go back to the Declaration of Independence, like they risked everything. They were treasonous because they stood up for something. If you're a man listening to this, you owe your wife or your partner, your lover, you owe your children, you owe it to your parents. You owe it to the other people in your community. Most of all, you owe it to yourself to stop being weak, stop being addicted to porn, stop being addicted to screens and sex, and stop being addicted to sugar. You owe it to yourself and to your family to be able to protect them. Predators love weak men because weak men, you can go steal from them. They see a man who who looks dangerous, who looks like a threat, ain't going to mess with him. I promise you, you try to mess with my family, it will not work for you. It will not fare for you. It, like you will, you will not make it. I love my family. I love my community. I love my team. I love my clients. I love where I live. I love United States of America. And I do know this. They're trying to make men become extinct. Why? Because you control women and children a lot easier. Look, society needs men to be strong. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times, and that cycle just continues. Well, we're seeing that today. Weak men create hard times. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Your job as a man today, like four simple things. Provide for your family. You don't need to be a billionaire, but learn how to put a roof over your family's head, put food on the table, give them some resources and opportunities, and show them how to work. Provide, number two, it is to preside. This is another fancy word for lead. Lead your family, don't be a dictator, don't be the disappearing father, but like lead. Lead your family in family discussions. Lead your family in prayer. Show your family, hey, have some rules and some standards and some core values. Have some traditions. Lead, so provide, preside, next one, protect. Protect your family against pernicious things online. Protect them against things in public school systems and in communities. And then the next thing is to produce. What does it mean to produce? And you're like, isn't that the same thing as provide? No, produce means actually go create, produce, build, contribute. This is my podcast to the men out there. Like the worst thing 
a good man can do is to do nothing. That's all he has to do. Just stand by and watch and do nothing. Put your head in the sand and pretend all is well. Keep posting all your, all is well. Look, there is, I'm telling you, if good men do nothing, evil wins. Get your body right. Get strong. Stockpile the whatever resources you think are important. First aid, guns, ammo. And again, ah, oh, he's some crazy conspiracy theorist. No, you got to be able to protect your family. You should have food and water. You should have some cash, some extra cash in your home. You should have like books where you're teaching your children. You're showing them how to deal with adversity. It's crazy, right? Um, every time I go through tough times, I, I tell my boys, my daddy's going through some tough stuff right now. And they're like, what? Tell them. And again, I know how to tell them the appropriate things for their age, but they got to know that I'm going through stuff just like them. We can still have a good time. We can still barbecue, vacation, hit the boat, hit the lakes, take the mountains, vacation like that. We're supposed to. And we have a duty to this country and to God to rise up. Men, I'm calling you to the carpet, man. It's not too late. Start exercising. Start eating right. Get some sleep at night. Get up and go to work. Do your job. Learn how to build wealth. Develop new skills. Skills pay the bills. Connect with different people. Community, church, different clubs, like different organizations. Get out in the sunlight. Get some fresh air. Spend time with your children. Stop being that type of man that Hollywood makes men look like. Dumb, docile, weak. That's not who we are. Our job is to lead. Our job is to love. Our job is to learn and our job is to contribute. Why am I so passionate about the subject? I have three boys right now and I know what's going on in society. I know what's going on out there. So men, rise up. If you are a woman whose man is not living up to, you can do some things to help. If you sit by idly and watch and do nothing and say nothing and demand nothing of your man, problems on you as well. And I'll say this and it's bold in saying it, but some of you women know that you're, you ought to be done in your marriage. No question about it. Some of you know you need to be done and you need to, you ought to get a divorce. You ought to move on. No question about it. That's not all, but probably 20 to 30 percent of you know you are better off and your children are better off. But it's so hard to tell me you don't understand. What I do understand is being inside of a marriage that is, that is abusive, that doesn't work. Like if a man ever lays hands on you and he continues to do that, I get it. You know you should leave, but you can't. You start to blame yourself like, don't do that. Get out. Move on. Men, love on your women. Men, love on your children. Men, get better. Have aspirations. Have goals. Reconnect with God. Reconnect with purpose. Go create a purpose. Go get after it. You got one life to live and that's it. That's all I'm going to say on this topic. I appreciate you listening. If this has been helpful, share it with somebody who needs to hear it. And get up off your butt and get to work and go do some good in the world. And become a better man. Become a masculine man. Become a powerful man who love. And I'm powerful. My version of powerful is a man who loves. A man who gives back. A man who protects. A man who produces and helps other people. A man who is not afraid to pick up trash, put shopping carts back. A man who's not afraid to open doors for people. A man who's not afraid to pay for someone's bill. A man who's not afraid to put his arm around someone. A man who's not afraid to be emotional about things and vulnerable. Let's go, men. Duty's on us. Job's on us. We got to get the job done. Let's go. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Until next time, I'm out. Let's go. Go, 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 uh -huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block. Do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down. Have you get your pen up. Want to be the greatest. We ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hate.